I'm trying to be really gentle with the fish to try and get it off this rack, but it has stuck. I'm absolutely terrified of it falling apart, but it has to get off and onto the plate. I've torn the skin. Everything was going so well, but every detail counts, and this could really cost me. But I just need to keep moving now. So gently place the fish on the plate and give an extra spoonful of that yummy dressing, because I remember Brett's having a big pool in the middle. Hopefully it tastes good. Another day, another pressure test. Mm. <laughs> How did this one feel, Jessica? I enjoyed myself today. Lovely dish. Probably my favourite dish that we've cooked. <laughs> what I really loved about the way you cooked today was you cook with real heart. And I can tell you I understand the flavour of food because when I put my spoon in your dressing, I knew you had tasted it and thought about it. And that's a really important thing to remember when you're cooking. And that's something that you've got that not a lot of people have. Thank you. It's up to the plate of food now to speak for itself. It's yeah. up to us to taste. Fingers crossed. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Well done. <sighs> wow. I know we could sit here and harp on about the issues with the skin, but I'm looking at that pool of dressing in there and I'm salivating. It looks, it looks glistening and tasty. But uh, it does look a bit shambolic, but it kind of, it's like Jessica's, all Jessica's been. It looks a little bit messy, a little bit chaotic, but you know the flavor's gonna be there. It's almost a calling card. Spectacular, it's kind of smoky and rich and sweet, and got that just about right acidity to balance it. And that's an absolute smash. Look, negatives are obviously the skin is, is not good, you know, it's just teared a lot of it. But the, the quiz on the cooking of the fish is, is exceptional. That lovely cannelloni has been seasoned well, the avocado tastes great, but that dressing, Matt, you, you're right, I mean, it is beautiful. Yeah, you know, the number one thing when you eat a dish is, are you going to stop eating it? You know, are you going to put your knife and fork down? And that's the sort of dish you don't want to put your knife and fork down when it's got that much flavour. You know, that's what cooking's about, isn't it? Another great tasting. This is going to go right down to the wire, I think. Good luck, sweetie. All right. Let's do this. I feel like I did well in the cook so far, but if I want to place in the semi-final, I'm going to have to cook this fish perfectly. There's a fine line between undercooking it and overcooking it. It's not going to be easy. I'm cooking the bonito, and the recipe says to do it skin side down only, but I feel like I need to flip it because I don't want to overcook the bottom. I flip the fish just for a couple of seconds and I flip it back. I've cooked my fish in the pan and I transfer that into an oiled rack over the open flame. I'm trying really hard to get this fish off properly and making sure I don't break the skin too much. But a bit of the skin is quite ripped. I've done my absolute best today, but I've made a small mistake, and that could really cost me. I've got all the elements there, but I'm really worried with the fish. This is the very last pressure test of the competition and it's pretty scary because this could be my very last day in the MasterChef kitchen as well.
As I'm walking the dish in, I'm just hoping that the fish is going to be all right. If I haven't got it right, that's going to send me home. You've done amazing things. How important is it for you to stay rather than to go now? At this point in the competition, I just want to pretty much, I, I want to strive for perfection now, just like do well. I want to be the best that I can be as well. And I want to put up food that is spectacular and, you know, put smiles on people's faces. My food dreams have a dessert bar. I want it to be one of the best dessert bars there is. Do you, do you feel obliged? I guess. To be the best? Yes, yeah. I'm hard on myself for a reason because I really want to keep improving. I want to get better and better every time. I just want to keep going. I just want to keep going because I love it. Reynolds, this is it, man. It comes down to what you've put on that plate and how well you've replicated Brett's dish. Yeah. Thank you, Reynolds. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thanks for being welcome. Brett, what do you think? Yeah, I think it's a pretty good effort. I mean, he's, he's had trouble with the skin there. Yeah, all the skin's yeah. come off. Um, he's put two pieces of cucumber because he realised it was too small. But you know, as I was tasting all the elements of the dish in the kitchen, they all, they all taste good. It all looks good. Well, let's find out how it goes together. Thank heavens for pieces. In terms of the cooking of the fish, Brett, how do you think how do you think he's gone? Yeah, I think he's done one side really nicely. But what you can be very careful of when you cook a fish like Benito, it can become so dry so quickly. So you definitely don't want to flip it over. Do you think that's what happens here? Yeah, I think he's slightly unevenly cooked it. He put too much heat on the side that hasn't got the skin on it. The skin's the bit that protects it from drying out. It would have been better if he hadn't have given any heat to the side that didn't have the skin on it. Well. I'm, I'm pretty proud of him. There's so much to love about Reynolds' efforts because for me, it is jam-packed full of yummy flavour and that jelly is so fine and he, his pastry skills have come to the fore because that it's wafer thin and that's what it needs to be. It shouldn't be this sort of... You shouldn't be tasting jelly. It should just be there just holding everything together and then, bang, you get all that creamy sort of tartary stuff in the middle. It's, it's a delicious dish. It is the, the great pleasure of doing this job, but also the great pain of doing this job, that you and you get three dishes, they've all done elements so well, you then have to pick which one goes home. As much as I don't want to do this, we need to go and tell them the result, shall we? It takes very special people to create very special days. Today's been a special day because the three of you have once again done us proud. It's amazing for me to think that you guys are amateur cooks, not professionals. I thought this dish would make it easy for us as judges. I've had people through my kitchen who have failed with that dish, who have struggled with it, and you guys did a fantastic job. And all of you demonstrated to me why you're at the sharp end of this competition. Fantastic cooking, so well done. Overall, we were all so impressed by what you did today. And we said that it would come down to little details. Jessica, your dish was slightly chaotic on the plate and it lacked the elegance of breasts. But that sauce was note for note with breasts. Billy, your fish was perfectly cooked but there just wasn't enough of that shiso dressing. Reynold, you bought us a delicate, pretty version of Brett's dish, highlighted by the fineness of that cannelloni skin. But there was one detail that we couldn't overlook. Your fish was overcooked on the underside. It was dry. And from all of us, we're really sorry, but you're going home today.